that that massive line in, in the middle of my face. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, Gogs are here and welcome back to a brand new match day vlog today. Mother will take on St Johnston for the third time this season. Aggregate scoreline between the two sides is 5 0 to Motherwell. <laughs> um, so hopefully we're going to continue that today. Uh, Jamie was actually at the, the last time Motherwell played St Johnston. I wasn't at McDermott Park uh, in which we won 1 0 and we saved a penalty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was the first game I missed this season, so here's hoping uh, I can rewrite my wrongs and uh, see us win again against St Johnston on the well. So after a wee trip to Spoons, we are now at the ground and looking forward to hopefully another three points. <laughs> Here we are. I mean, honestly, I've never seen such a low home support in my life since the game against Dundee anyway. Sorry Jamie. <laughs> Prediction. I'm gonna go 2-0 win for the well. I don't what you said. Jamie? 2-0 well. Oh, I like that. Roscoe, what are you saying? 1-1. One, one. Oh, you won well. Did you won well? Shedding that. Shedding that. Shedding that. Too far, and then he can't get a solid contact on the pass. 
and St Johnson break through and Hendry scores. And the equaliser comes from a long shot. It just finessed and it looks like it's going wide and then Clark just lets it go out for the goal. So I'll happily take it. Uh, I'll happily take being level at half time. I mean, we've done not much. I think St Johnson have p potentially had the break of the play most uh, in the first half, but hopefully Robbo can sort that out. Uh, maybe bring on another striker. See what happens in the second half. And get a, get a goal and maybe Tony Watt can come on and score against the former club. But aye, bring on the second half. Won the well. Second half about to kick off. You're at McDermott Park. Won the well. <laughs> If you're unsure, just get, keep I, the ball in play, I don't man. get why I just didn't keep it in the first place. Go Carroll. Back to him. Wait. Wait. Oh, 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 caught. Donnelly's made too many errors tonight. He's been a lot. Fucking hell, well. Oh. That'll do. Oh, he's giving a foul in the end. Uh, this all came for Donnelly, I fucking game. Donnelly. For our goal. Oh, Jesus. Don't dive in. Every day. But that's what you should have done, Donnelly, funny enough. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Ah, he's in the center. Ah, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh my! Great one too. Ah, shite. Oh! 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 Ah, me too, but we'll, we'll take it. Oh! Oh! Right. oh. Right, oh. He's off! He's off! He's, he's, he's getting sent off! He's off! He's oh, off. he's getting sent off! That's an off! Why would he dive if he's fucking? He's off! He's off! Fuck. Why would oh. he dive? No way, man! Position. What you should be doing is cutting Who's in and shooting, on? not trying to win a penalty. Seven oh. minutes plus stoppage. Oh, I'd happily take a point now. I'd happily. That's a ball. Nah. You see, Tony's been all right second half, but he's not. He's not. He's not had much to. What the service or nothing? He's not had much to work with. Well done, oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh my god! No fucking way! Fuck off! Bro. Oh my! Fuck off! That came from it. Should be the free kick to us. That's a foul. That was a foul on Gallagher. We deserve this. That's unbelievable. That was the one who gave the fucking ball away yet again. I don't know how that's still not a foul. I don't understand how that's not a foul. That was absolutely a bore. Two 
Motherwell defeat. Deserved. So, St Johnson 2, Motherwell 1. A uh, very, very poor result. Um, and the performance matched the result. It wasn't worth the admission fee I paid for it. Which was nothing, because I somehow wangled my way to get a free ticket thanks to the guy that gave me it just as I was going in. For goodness sake man, St Johnson ripped us a new one. We were lucky it was only 2-1. For the amount of chances that St Johnson created compared to us, I mean, we were more clinical. <laughs> but that's because I can only really remember one shot on target. And it was the one that Xander Clark let in. Took us half an hour to actually get a shot on target and that was the goal. Uh, but to be fair to St Johnson, I mean, yeah, they were better than us, but they weren't that good either. Their goal came from Gillespie throwing the ball out uh, to Donnelly. Donnelly let the ball run f too far and then he couldn't get a proper pass away. And then Hendry tries to get the ball and then play a pass, but it hits off Donnelly. Hits off Gallagher, then hits off Donnelly again, and it falls to Hendry. I mean, the lucky breaks, every lucky break, went to St Johnson, and they just punished us for that. Also, every 50-50 went St Johnson's way as well. So, I mean, we were up against it from the start. And I'm not, I'm not, don't even say that I'm blaming the referee for our downfall on Wednesday night. Because it was not, it was not just Nick Walsh uh, being just Nick Walsh that cost us the game. It was us. Like we made too many errors. Uh, and at one each when you've got a booking already, Kissy Manzinga, don't try and dive to win a penalty because that's only gonna result in one thing. Because the referee's gonna see through your desperation to get a penalty and it's annoying. Very annoying. Um, also, in the build-up to St Johnson's winning goal, I still believe it was a foul uh, on Gallagher. After Gallagher took the ball brilliantly, beat someone, and then uh, he got tripped up. And uh, yeah, that should have been a free kick to us. But um, yeah, now I'm looking over my shoulder a lot more than I was previously. Five games without a win. We're going to have to start winning soon because you know what happened when Aberdeen went on a five-game winless streak. That The fans started getting on the back of the manager and the players. So, we've got to start going for it. We've got 41 points right now. We're four points ahead of Livingston, who are in fifth. We, we have to beat St Minimum on Saturday. If we don't beat St Minimum on Saturday, we might as well. Call it off. Call Europe off. We need to be getting results against the teams below us, and that, that is a fact. Now we are only 11 points ahead of St Johnston. That's the equivalent to basically four games. Uh, and there's, what, seven games left until the split. So we, we have to just ensure that we get at least four or five wins out of the last seven games uh, to even see if we've got a chance of uh, the top four. It does feel like a long time ago that we were actually comfortably in the top four, but now Livingston and everyone else have caught up behind them. Uh, we really need to just start getting results again. But uh, yeah, the ne next three games, I believe we should hopefully uh, kickstart our campaign. Games against St Mirren, Aki's away, Ross County at home. Right, Aki's might be a dodgy one because of course the plastic pitch etc the predictable shit but I believe that we can maybe get six points at the next nine but I, th I feel like we're going to lose at least one game in the next two weeks and uh, I didn't feel like that before but um, yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content subscribe if you remember Motherwell fans it's not over till it's over Remember, there was once a Craig Reed day. If it means that we have to go down to a Craig Reed day on the last game of the season against Aberdeen at Petaudry, so be it. But I'm in it for the long haul, just as you should be. Anyway guys, like I said, I'll see you later. Take care.